The Nord is back again. And this time it seems it's designed to cannibalize the sales of OnePlus's other higher end phones. It's got a near as makes no difference flagship processor, big specs and a comfortable price tag. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint and this is the Nord 2 in its retail packaging. And while you're here, if you could tap like, hit subscribe and that notification bell, that would be brill. As far as unboxing goes, there's nothing especially unique about the Nord 2. Once we get the phone off the top to one side, we get to the rest of the contents. First is a simple black card sleeve that contains all the goodies. First up is the transparent case, which OnePlus often includes in its retail boxes. It's a fairly simple design and features a geometric matte pattern off to one side. Then there's another black cardboard sleeve with the rest of the stuff in it. That means the traditional OnePlus smiley face SIM ejector tool, an attractive blue card with a thank you note from the Nord team, plus the usual safety info and quick start guides. The box also contains a new warp charge adapter. This is a 65 watt adapter for super fast charging, but unlike the OnePlus 9 adapter features a USB-A connector, not USB-C. That of course means the iconic red cable also has a type A connector on one side. So onto the phone. With the Nord 2, OnePlus has designed a mid-range phone that looks like it's part of the same family as the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. It's the camera housing that does it. The two main cameras have metallic rings around them, and they're sat in a metal protrusion that's color matched to the glass on the back of the phone. It even features shiny chamfered edges. It's a much neater and more purposeful design than the first Nord managed. It's Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back with curved edges on the rear to help make it feel a bit more comfortable to hold. The frame, while metallic, is actually plastic, just like the first Nord. There's nothing really to shout home about in terms of overall look. It's very much your standard 2021 mid-ranger in that it has a hole punch camera stamped to the top left corner of the display with thin bezels around three of the sides. That bottom still has the slightly chunky chin. And unlike the Nord CE, which came before it, OnePlus opted to include the alert slider switch on the right side of the phone. This allows easy switching between ring, silent, and vibrate modes. Onto the display, and as far as specs goes, there's very little difference between this one and the Nord that came before it. It's got a 2400 by 1080 Full HD Plus resolution and 90 Hz refresh rate panel. It also has HDR10 Plus compatibility. What that means in reality is the screen should be bright, feature high contrast levels and vivid colors. It's AMOLED, which is usual for OnePlus, and that means deep black levels. On first impressions, it certainly seems good enough. Animations in the interface are fluid and the darker elements are really dark. Onto hardware and performance now, and for anyone who's followed OnePlus since its inception, there will be one thing that stands out on the Nord 2 spec list, and that's the processor. It's not a Qualcomm made Snapdragon chipset. Instead, OnePlus went with MediaTek and partnered to create a new version of the Dimensity 1200 processor. Technically speaking, it's called the 1200 AI, which OnePlus says is exclusive to the Nord 2 and has been co-developed between the two companies. While that's likely just some marketing to make it sound better, the platform itself should be very good. In Snapdragon terms, it promises similar performance to the Snapdragon 870, which we know is quick and powerful. In our initial testing, the phone certainly seems zippy and responsive, but as with everything else, we need more time with it to tell what it's really like. Early gaming sessions suggest that it's great. As for other hardware details, in the UK there'll be two RAM variants, that's 8GB or 12GB, and battery specs are the same as most recent OnePlus flagships. It's got 4,500 mAh. What's exciting though is that it uses the split or dual battery design to enable really quick charging. You'll be able to completely fill it in little over 30 minutes. And as for camera systems, it went with a flagship quality sensor for its primary camera. The 50 megapixel sensor that's in the main camera is the same one that's used in the Oppo Find X3 Pro and in the ultra wide camera of the OnePlus 9 Pro. It's equipped with OIS for better low light performance, while part of the Dimensity 1200 AI's performance boost means that night mode is better this time as well. So on the whole, the Nord 2 very much feels like OnePlus is picking up where it left off with the first Nord. There have been a few tweaks to the design, but it looks and feels very similar. Still, the powerful processor inside and the fast battery charging should elevate the experience somewhat and offer something that might just leave you questioning whether you should get a more expensive phone or not. The other thing that's definitely worth considering though is that OnePlus is not alone in the market anymore. There's lots of competition in the mid-range market. 
The Poco F3, as an example, promises very similar performance and specs on paper, and it costs less. So while it might seem like a great bargain in the world of the iPhone 12 and Galaxy S21s, Xiaomi's sub-brands Poco and Redmi are very much of the moment, and OnePlus shouldn't ignore those. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media. If you want to reach me on there, you can do, or use the comments section down below. As always, if you did like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.